I, I haven't, uh, in fact, I tried to get in touch with Ms. Agba, but I have not been able to speak to her. But I did uh, have a brief conversation with the, the DPP uh, while she was playing tennis the other day. I went to um, pick up my kids from Elmer Park and I said, what's this about? Because I had just heard through the media. I understand CFL and others have reported on it. And he said, well, you know, about what you have said, that she says you lobby. Look, I mean, I think a lot of these issues, uh, uh, when it's uh, what we call a tit for tat, toing and froing, and can get blown out of proportion. Um, I don't, uh, obviously, did not hear Minister Akbar say those words, nor have I read everything that the DPP has responded to. Um, but of course, you know, the, the fact is that uh, the minister is responsible uh, for curbing domestic violence. Uh, she's very much concerned about domestic violence. She's very much concerned about sexual assaults, as we all are as a government. Our Prime Minister has made, a, you know, obviously a number of bold statements around that. Um, and as you also know, those of you may not know, they used to have a, what we call the penal code that was in Fiji since for the past hundred years or so, that did not even recognize domestic violence as a separate, you know, uh, offense. We now have the Domestic Violence Act, which actually specifically states about domestic violence being a separate offence. Um, those of you who may know lawyers, I mean, even when I worked at the DPP's office, uh, if you bashed up your wife, uh, it was known as common assault. And common assault was what you call a reconcilable offence. So many women who did get beaten up uh, by their husbands in particular, um, or, or boyfriends or partners, um, they were discouraged from actually taking cases. They were discouraged sometimes previously by the police to file even uh, complaints about it. And uh, those ones who did get through when they went in, a lot of the magistrates said, well, you know, you're married, why don't you go and settle it? So many people actually did not report those offences. Uh, similarly, as you know, that uh, now you can get a life sentence for sexual assault. Uh, so, you know, the, the penalties, of course, uh, significantly increased. Uh, the judiciary, I understand, has had, uh, you know, uh, judicial training uh, for over a period of time. Uh, and perhaps the minister was also referring to that about, you know, judicial training, about sensitization, about being aware, uh, aware of the dynamics at play, the power play between the genders, etc. So, you know, I think a lot of the times uh, when you have uh, independent officers, you have the executive and independent officer, sometimes it's good to just pick up the phone and have a chat, have a talanoa as opposed to it kind of dragging out in the media. Uh, the ultimate objective, I'm sure, of the DPP is to ensure that people who commit an offence get prosecuted successfully. In the same way from the executive, we want to ensure that this particular uh, offence, offences like, you know, uh, sexual offences, sexual assaults, uh, in particular on children, and also, of course, domestic violence does get, you know, reduced, it gets curbed, and be able to, you know, get rid of this scourge from our society.